Welcome back to Living Local. If you dream of buying a new home right now, especially in this competitive market, it may come down to money and financials, all of those things. So breaking down all the money matters, we have Kyle Robinson here in this segment, which is sponsored by The Robinson Group. Always good to have you in studio. Thank you for having me back. Of course. And I always learn something when you come in, too. So let's dive right into this interest rates. We were talking about it right before we started filming. What's going on there? Yeah, interest rates have definitely gone up. Um, they're pretty steady compared to the last time we were here last month. Um, right now, a 30-year conventional rate, you're looking around 5.4%. Um, FHA, VA, around 4.9%. And that's high. Is that yeah, it's, certainly, it's been higher than what's normal. But okay. when I started in real estate eight years ago, it was 4.75 to 5% was pretty typical, mm -hmm. right? So I will say that it's very important that if you had a pre-approval letter prior to January of this year, um, certainly, actually prior to any day, you should be reaching out to your lender to make sure that your purchasing power is still the same as interest rates are rising. Okay. We do feel like we are hitting somewhat of a little bit of a cliff, so hopefully we'll start to see things stable out which uh, hopefully will be a good thing for everybody. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. Now let's talk about lending and local lending, maybe having a local lender. Are there positives there? Is that yeah, nice? so familiarity is a big thing, right? Mm -hmm. So people like to do business with people that they know, people that they trust. Um, and I will tell you that in a hyper-competitive market like we have here in the Quad Cities where we're seeing multiple offers, um, sometimes 20, 50, you know, 15, 20, 30 offers on one house, certainly getting a connection with somebody here locally will help that listing agent have a better conversation. Also recommend that you'll be using a lender that's willing to pick up the phone and have a conversation with the listing agent about why somebody should take your offer. Mm, okay. Very good to note. And like you said, so you're still seeing homes that are getting that amount of offers. Oh, absolutely. We've mm -hmm. seen houses here recently. Um, right now, it's very, very, very common to sell over list price. We've had houses going over as well as $55,000 over asking price. Wow. That is so, significant. Yeah. It really is. Okay. There's a term here that we want to make sure that we break down. Competitive earnest money amount. Yes. How exactly is that. Yeah. So right now, earnest money is certainly a hot topic. Earnest money is a skin in the game. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily a requirement but it's something that we typically do see on a lot of contracts. I will tell you that in some situations, we're seeing some people put up non-refundable earnest money, which really shows strong skin in the game, right? And we've seen some people put up some hefty amounts. I would say the nation average is usually around 1%. Here in this local market, we see around a half a percent, maybe sometimes even less than that. Mm -hmm. But right now, with the amount of offers we have coming in, we have people putting down five, ten thousand. 10,000. We've even had people put down $50,000 non-refundable earnest money. Wow. Really putting their money where their mouth is um, and really setting an expectation that they're serious. Right, so highly recommend that you talk with your your realtor. I'm not saying that's what the best case for everybody, you know, because there is a risk of losing it. Things do happen. Nothing is guaranteed. Even a cash deal with no appraisal, no inspections, that's not even guaranteed. My goodness, it sounds like a crazy time. <laughs> I'm be, sure yes. you are staying very busy. Yeah, we, I think <laughs> we're up to 260 houses already closed this year, so I think that's pretty good. Oh, that uh, is awesome. We're hoping to hit over 1,000 thousand deals this year. It sounds like that's <laughs> definitely going to happen yeah. for you, too. Now, how would you uh, go about asking for an appraisal effect? for your offer? How do yeah, you so I, I will tell you that making offers subject to appraisal, obviously most financing contingencies require an appraisal, not all. So that's one thing that I would certainly check with your bank about some, some uh, mortgage institutions, depending on somebody's, you know, somebody's stack, how they, how, what their credit's like, where, where they're at might, uh, might be subject to appraisal waiver. Um, but appraisals certainly do add another layer of complexity because certainly if there's a government loan, it could come back with uh, additional repairs that are required. I mean, right now we're starting to see some issues with appraisals not coming in with the high offers and definitely the high listing prices. So that's something that's certainly a concern. Um, I will tell you, tell you that we have seen a majority of these offers go through over asking price, but we have had some recently um, that have had some issues with the appraisal. Mm -hmm. So. Now, when it comes to offering more than the asking price, what's your advice there? Is that a good thing to do? Well, the one thing that we always talk with all of our clients about is the future, right? And the thing is, is we need to realize that at some point, even if we don't think we're going to or not, we're probably going to sell this property, right? So we have to make sure that we put ourselves in a position 
in which we understand what's potentially going to be happening in the future with our crystal ball that we have, right? <laughs> right. But we, unfortunately, there's really not a ton of advice other than based off comparables. But I will tell you that we are seeing massive appreciation throughout the United States right now. I was just in Denver two weeks ago, and on the news out there, they said that just in one month, the home prices raised $60,000. Wow. Right? That's absolutely crazy. So if you really think about it, um, it it's, 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 it's really hard for me to tell somebody, hey, in five years, this is what your house is going to be worth. But the one thing I will tell you is do your research. Mm -hmm. The United States is underbuilt right now, which is driving prices up as well as a shortage of inventory. So. Okay. Wow, so much. So much to take in, yes. but so much good information, especially for those who are probably starting their home search. Thank you so much, Kyle, as always, for coming in. Well, I appreciate you guys having me. Of course. Now, again, this segment was sponsored by the Robinson Group. Now, for some more information about them, you can check them out over on their website at trgmove.com. And we will, of course, have this posted over on our website, too, which is ourquadcity.com.